the Nigerian military says it's, uh, it's still engaged in the fierce battle against insurgency and banditry in the country. It needs to provide up-to-date medical facilities and an enabling environment to deal with the wounded in battle, especially emergency cases. And to this effect, the Nigerian Air Force has begun putting in place measures that will enable it to treat those airmen and women engaged in battle. TVC News correspondent Ibrahim Isa reports. The battle between insurgents is still raging. The military is engaged in a battle to end banditry and kidnapping in the northwest states within the shortest possible time. But there is need to revamp medical facilities in the formations. The Nigerian Air Force has since begun providing medical equipment to do with emergency cases at various Air Force medical facilities. 465 Air Force Hospital in Kanu is one of them. The purpose of our gathering today is to witness the commissioning ceremony of two blocks of 10 by 1 apartment that is provided by the Chief of Air Staff in order to reduce patient waiting time and enhance prompt response to emergency cases. One student accommodation. Air Vice Marshal Musa Mukhtar says the move is to address welfare of the airmen and women in the Air Force. He was representing the Chief of Air Staff during an assessment tour of medical facilities in the formations. The Chief of Air Staff deems it necessary to make provision for a more befitting accommodation for those attending to emergency services within the hospital complex. Today, we are witnessing the commission of two blocks of 10 by 1 studio accommodation in fulfillment of the Chief of Air Staff vision. The Nigerian Air Force has urged airmen and women to make judicious use of this health facility for the desired goal of its establishment to be achieved. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kano.